Hello, and welcome to the Game Dev Quickie. In this project series, we are making a memory game. In the previous episodes, we completed the game loop. The main task for this episode is to create a scoring system, as well as losing conditions. Let's continue coding. We will do a little polishing first. We want to center the playing board on the screen. Let's find out the size of the window. We calculate the dimensions of one card with spacing. And then the dimensions of the entire game board. Finally, we calculate the spacing of the game board. We will use the results for card positions. Let's do a quick check. Good. Next, we will modify the input manager. We will need the ability to right click. We will also add a check to see if the cursor is in the game window area. We add a method to the card to get its flip state. And in the board class, a method to reset it. It will make the cards visible and turn them face down. Then shuffle the board. We will also add a restart to the game manager. We use the board reset we just created. And set the first state. We call restart in the constructor. In the update, we restart the game on right click. We'll do a quick test. Good. We will now require a draw method from all game states. We introduce a new state that implements the draw method. The game manager can now use the general draw method call. Let's change the inheritance of all current states to include the draw method. We will add a new game state to the current three. This new win state occurs when the player collects all cards. Then the game restarts. The win state inherits from the game state. It will display a winning texture centered on the screen. The constructor loads the texture and obtains the dimensions of the window. Then calculates the texture position. The update method waits for a click to restart the game. And the draw method is straightforward. In the board class, we add a counter of the remaining cards. And a method to collect a pair of cards. We will adjust the resolve turn state. We will use our new method to collect cards. And extend the logic of transition to the next state. We will temporarily reduce the number of cards for testing purposes. Let's give it a go. The win screen and game restart work. Perfect. It's time to optimize game states with a manager. First, we define an enumeration of states. Then, we prepare a static dictionary of instances of each state. We can now switch between these instances. Let's initialize the state manager inside the game manager. And use it in the change state method. Now we have to fix all the calls of that method. Let's check that everything still works. Good. Another gameplay addition will be the scoring system. The player will have a limited time to find the next pair of cards, 20 seconds for the first one. There will be a screen-wide bar representing the remaining time. We will use a solid color as a texture, covering a rectangle. Add a score counter and a timer switch. The constructor initializes the fields. It generates the texture, a single orange pixel. Then gets the screen width and sets the rectangle. We had three simple methods. Start, Stop, and Reset. We will call the next turn method when the player successfully finds a pair. It increases the score based on the remaining time. The rounds are getting one second shorter every time. And a miss method that will reduce the score on fail. The update will track the remaining time when active. Then proportionally adjust the size of the rectangle. The draw method fills the rectangle with the color texture. Let's use the score manager throughout the game. We will add it to the game restart method. The update method will restart the game if the time runs out. Flipping the first card will start the timer. The draw will be part of every play state. We add the prepared methods to the turn resolve. There is one more thing we have to settle. We must show the final score. The win state is the right place to handle this. We will need a font and a position of the writing. The constructor will load the font. In the update method, we measure the string length. Calculate the position to center it. 
and a simple draw. Okay, let's do some testing. Flipping the first card starts the timer. Collecting a pair resets it. And collecting all the cards shows the winning screen with our score. Let's try what happens when the time runs out. The game restarts. Perfect. Let me know how you like this episode. Do you have any suggestions on how to improve the game? Please, share them in the comments. We will continue working on this project in the future, don't miss it. You can find the code in the description. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.